Hello everyone, it's me again, and in the case you have just, you know, jumped in on this video, I highly suggest you watch the previous video, my thoughts on climate change, because it will provide some much needed conte uh, context to the things that I will say here, because I don't want uh, to some questions to remain unresolved. Um, I am aware that a lot uh, uh, of you know about uh, Greta Thunberg's Thunberg, I think that's how it's pronounced. Thun Thunberg, as um, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Um, I'll, I'll simply call her Greta. Uh, uh, speech before the United uh, Nations, and um, you know, I really didn't pay any attention to it. I listened to it. I didn't thought much of it, and I moved on. However, I saw this meme that made me laugh so so much that I wanted to share it with my audience. Uh, essentially, it was a still of her giving her uh, speech, you know, making this very angry face, and somebody photoshopped uh, uh, Emperor Palpatine next to it, saying, Good, good, let the hate flow through you. And I, I lost it. I was laughing so much, and I decided to share it. Oh boy, that was a mistake. <laughs> For you see, children, some people weren't happy about that. Um, uh, majority of people were like, yeah, climate change is a lie, um, it's all a lobby and so on, which I don't agree with. But there were a couple of comments, uh, oh, I expected better from you, way to mock a, a sick little girl, I'm unsubscribing and so on. And that annoyed me so much. Uh, but what annoyed me more was that... Um, hmm, the comment section was basically fighting without engaging one another, because that is how community tab is organized. You can't resp respond to other people's comments, so people are like, oh, I'm surprised at other commenters, and so on. Uh, first of all, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Christ is what we place our hope in. And uh, it's absolutely insane for us Christians to be dismissive of other Christians because of their... A belief or lack thereof in climate change, you know. Uh, ultimately, this uh, this land, this this earth, in its present state, isn't our home. It's the kingdom of God. However, we are doing a fine job messing it up, and it is it is God's command that we tend to this garden. You know. So yeah, I do believe that we as Christians should take better care of it. Then came Greta. <laughs> Okay, uh, first of all, so a couple of things. I thought that the speech was cringy. Um, at one point, uh, everybody was making fun of this. You destroyed my dreams. What dreams? I mean, if you're, you know... If you set your dreams to be something unreachable, like having pristine climate, you will always have shattered dreams. Like me. I had a dream of having uh, two, two uh, 20,000 subscribers, and do I lose my sleep over it? Hmm. Do I avoid school? Uh, that is also something that I was uh, very annoyed by. Uh, uh, she started her activism as a protest, you know? She started uh, not uh, skipping school in order to draw attention to climate. Um, this is, again, something that uh, sort of annoyed me, because each one of us has something that we believe or s feel strongly about. Imagine if I stopped going to school, uh, elementary school, high school, university, what, uh, what have you not, be, uh, until persecution of Christians ended. I wouldn't get educated and the fight against Christians <laughs> would not come to a halt, you know. Um, Especially because, you know, uh, defending Christians isn't really in the vogue when it comes to world politics, you know? Um, at one point, so yeah, uh, I think that the sole reason her activism paid off, so to speak, was because she was taken in, um, into the shelter under the wing of uh, some uh, environmental organizations, and that's that's a problem, you know? Because what message are you giving to young people, throw a hissy fint until you get what you want, regardless of uh, reg regardless if what you want is unachievable. That is a huge problem. Um, that's one thing. 
Um, there were so many things I wanted to talk about, but um, I should have put in this at paper, but here we are. It's, it is what it is, as M would say. Um, second thing that annoyed me, uh, she says that all you take care about is money. Yes! St. Paul said it, said it 2,000 years ago. <laughs> and there were probably many other people before him who said it in their own way, you know? The only way to save a planet environmentally is to make it profitable. That's the best way, you know? If you do it any other way, if you count on the goodness of human heart, well, you will, be, <laughs> you will get sorely disappointed, you know? Human heart isn't a good thing. It can be, but very usually it's not, and when it is, in majority of cases, it has been transfigured by the grace of Christ. There are some ex uh, there are ex exceptions, of course, but I wouldn't bet on them. And even the transfiguring power of Christ, you know, it's not something that you can categorize it in, oh, these people are transfigured by Christ. No, it's these individuals and good luck, find good luck finding them out, you know? Um... What annoyed me the most, of course, were, uh, was the comment that basically said, uh, and you probably guys see it coming from a mile away, and I referenced it at the beginning of the video, way to mock uh, a mentally challenged girl. Uh, this is when I got really annoyed, because a couple of reasons. First of all, I didn't know that she had her mental issues, that she was on the spectrum. I really didn't know. <laughs> uh, if, she, if she kept telling that she's Napoleon or, uh, I don't know, Empress Livia, okay, yes, <laughs> that's a problem. But she seemed perfectly, uh, she seemed perfectly sane and, uh, okay, maybe too ang a little bit too angry, but, you know, nothing that, uh, that um, uh, would make me raise an eyebrow. Second, I wouldn't call that mocking. Uh, it was it was making a jest of her speech, not her personally. Uh, I don't know her. Uh, I don't know what's in her heart. I believe that she does it out of out of her best intent. Uh, I don't think that people who use her do that out of best intent, you know. But her, I, I can believe it that uh, you know she means well and that she truly believes that um, that we need help, uh, you know, with the planet and everything. But I, I, I did mock some people on the channel, but I don't mock. Uh, I didn't mock her, and that is what you know annoyed me. Because come on, um, and that is what I find most annoying in, in this whole situation. These people who are using her took a child who has this or that, you know, issue, and then when you criticize her, they say, "Oh, you're mocking a disabled child." There was that jerk on Fox News who called her retarded. That was, that was idiotic. And that was evil. But it is no less evil to use her as a poster child for your cause and then hide behind her disabilities when somebody criticizes her. Unless it's criticizing her um, in a malicious way for having the issues that she has. You know? That's about it. I mean, um, I don't have uh, too much to add. Uh, I will say one thing, um, even though this will probably, this w will not sit well with my audience. Uh, I see her in a positive light as a sort of a prophet of the green earth, you know, because prophets also kept saying things that really didn't well s uh, sit well with the majority of their audience. You know, and what she says, you know, doesn't sit well with a lot of people. And I agree, she should have, you know, <laughs> pointed her finger at China, not Germany or whoever. But, you know, it is still a contentious issue. Uh, as I said in my previous video, I don't, th I think that we can and should do better for this earth. I just think that she's the wrong person to do it because... Uh, it will cause her problems personally in the future, you know? Uh, I, I think that she's great that she's doing something to help, you know, the planet, but I don't think that's the right way, and in the end, it can cause prob uh, uh, problems to her personally. Some people, um, 
It requires a lot of fortitude to endure um, such exposure, you know, and um, people not only are not going to be supportive or contradictive, some of them will be actively malicious towards you. And uh, people don't have to be, you know, actively malicious towards you in order for you to really, really lose it and uh, have issues. That is something that uh, I have discussed uh, with them in our uh, YouTube toxic drama controversy. You can watch it if you want, but uh, in essence, uh, what I said was that um, some people should be outside of YouTube for their own personal good. And that includes Greta as regards to the world stage. Um, again, I'm not arguing that all people on the spectrum shouldn't be, you know, exposed. But uh, it can be uh, problematic in individual cases, you know. And she did sound really hateful during her speech. And um, I'm worried what can happen in the future. Also, one more thing. Okay, I know that uh, <laughs> I know that uh, she didn't write that speech, but I also wonder how many sixteen-year-year-old girls use words like equity. <laughs> I never use that word. <laughs> okay, I mean I'm not a sixteen-year-old girl, but I can identify as one. Bye.